Uh, good day, people. So should I say good afternoon? This is Stone Stanza coming at you. And, uh, you know, I have I have multiple channels, but then I just have one channel. You know, at Stone Stanza, I have my writing, you know, my music coming up, my driving. Just started a little trucking company. But like I said, the topic I just want to go with right now, I have many topics on there. I talk about many things, but the topic right now I want to talk on, and I don't want to, I'm not jumping on the West Coast. I'm not jumping on nobody's Disney to get unwanted props. I do everything real. Everything real and I've always been like that. But I like to give a move on in peace. I don't say rest in peace because energy don't die. Energy keeps going. Move on in peace to the great monster Cody Scott and the Scott family, all his children. May and his wife made it endure. Some people might say, Why the heck, Monster Cody? He is a serial killer. He didn't represent nothing. See? And that's what I was talking about critical thinking. Nope. A long time ago, when I had trouble with my family and me and my mother, not me and my mother was going through it, but with the other family, whatever. One summer, I went up to or well, two summers, but one summer I went to myself to North New Jersey. Well, three summers, but one summer I went by myself to North New Jersey. And a Bishop Reginald Burrow, he always said, and I didn't know nothing about hustle or whatever, but he would take me. He grew up in the 7th Avenue projects in North, and he would take me. He'd be like, look, out of all this, always look at the beauty. Never look at the, oh, look at the beauty for it to raise your mind. And with that, and he lived in a weak wage section in, in, uh, of North and Peace to North New Jersey. But with that, you got to look at Monster Cody. 12 years old, gang banging. Think about that. These gangs mostly started at 12. Not today as you see these people 25, 30, 40. No, these 12. Raymond Washington. 12, 15 years old, they're coming up with these ideas. That's because we were, it was turmoil. And if you listen and do your history in the 50s and 60s, it was turmoil. It was turmoil before that. Coming into a little bit of rest of the hippie days in the 70s and in the 80s and things changed. But let's get back to Monster Cody Scott, who changed his life. He's seen the wrong he was doing, just like Stanley Tookie Williams, Raymond Washington, and came back and reformed. And yes, they have an alliance with Englewood family, but also we he fought to keep that same alliance with other Crip enemies, Rolling 60s or, or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Because they always looked at it as it was only one Crip. If you read the thing, you know, the blood is one blow. It shouldn't have been division. But back to Monster Scott. He goes to prison. Yes, he gets there in their life or whatever. It goes years. He changes as a young man, made it to a killer as a kid and didn't have the right upbringing, but remained intelligent when you hear him talk. My goodness, can he break down things? But to change his life and to go with that, I think he went with the African revolution or the African and that changed his life. And, you know, he got out of gang banging and he found the new way of life. And he used this to seek the higher power to grab him away from gangbanging. Because back then, gangbanging was protecting your hood. But somewhere down the line when drugs come in, and you even hear him say, you know, drugs come in, it altered the mindset. But the beginning, you, it was really you can carry. And once you carry, you protect your community. Not only protect your community, you feed your community. Because there's a lot of people getting tricked. There's a lot of people teaching wrong things. There's a lot of people looking at things wrong. Community reinformed, and that's what this brother did. He reinformed, and he came back. Yeah, he, and nobody's not perfect, but he got married. He changed his life. He teaches his kids different. This is what you want to do. You want to teach your children better than what you were taught, even if you brung up in a good life, because it's always to excel. But these brothers... And I was speaking about Raymond Washington, 15, coming up with the idea. Listen, these brothers were pushed out there, especially at those times in the 60s and the riots. Think about that. You were riots and you 10, 8 years old. P.S. P. 
PTSD, what? You see what I'm saying? But I give a props because he changed his life. He recognized God. And although maybe through the court system, maybe others might be looked at different. But they even have to look at him. Because some of these brothers got Nobel Peace Prize like he did, I think, for writing a book, Stanley Tookie Williams. So you can change. And for the people out there saying just because you grow up in comp, you have to join a gang. Nope. Because in today's kids, there are kids that grew up in neighborhoods. But there is kids that did not join a gang. That seek wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And Munster helped bring that. Yup. He helped bring that. He helped bring the Nipsey Hustles. And... And, and more and all that you see and uh crazy intelligent and he had respect for the lot inmates like all the old heads and they showed you what drugs did but i like to give a shout out and like i said this ain't no disney ride and they say oh they, well, you know i've been to the west coast a couple times but i actually follow these dudes and i actually feel these dudes and feel how Somebody doesn't want you to change or society thinks you can't change or critical thinking But this man showed from the bottom like Drake to the top Under a trash pile think about that Had two bodies at 12 years old And all of them was doing drugs and they switched their mindset Back to how community form real and, and bloody love is supposed to be. And that's what's going on today. When you see these kids wearing each other's colors. Or you see different things. This is the message coming through. And guess what? You did a good work. I ain't going to say too much. But move on in peace. To the great late. Monster Cody Scott. And I don't call you a monster. Cody Scott. Peace. Don't stand are coming at you. Look at the good in the person. To develop your own character. And then you can open up the eyes of that person. And that's what these brothers taught. May the young people learn. And excel. As these brothers did. And for all those out there joining these gangs. 30, 40, in your late 20s. These were kids man. Raise your mind. Just like they did. In prison. Winning Nobel Peace Prizes for books. Wow. So if nobody on, as far as community law, brotherly law, La Raza law, Samoan law, whatever, if you're not on this, that level, these dudes did it in prison, Nobel Peace Prize. So how much more freedom we have out here to reinform the communities and not in a bad way, in a good way. Not policing, making sure you doing the police jobs or crooked stuff. Uh-oh, doing good. Changing and doing what's good. Stone stands are coming at you. Peace out.